Wallahi, blood brothers, blood brothers, they grew up, they came out of the same womb, out of the same mother, they suckled on the same breast, they lived and slept and grew up in the same bedroom, ate from the same plate and drank from the same cup. Today they don't speak to one another, why? Because his wife said and my wife said, the hell with your wife. How does it possibly sit in any sane mind that my brother, the one who I grew up with, I allow a woman to get in between me and him? What deed is this? Father and son that don't talk to one another. Mates, mates that grew up on the streets, they live by... Brother, we did habas together, Khayye, habas. We were like that in habas. Ten years I did time with him, ten years. I'll take a bullet for him, bro. One drama, one incident, and all hell breaks loose. What happened, Akhi? Where did the hearts go, man? Husband and wife for 10, 15 years. Yeah, we, uh, we had a divorce. Why? Wow. What happened? Wanna... My wife showed me a post once on the internet. A woman was having some troubles with her husband. She's asking for advice. She has three kids. I quote, three kids, husband and wife. You shared the same bed for years. You ate from the same for years. Brother, how big could your drama be? Brother, we're human beings. Everyone makes mistakes. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. But why is it that when a drama comes, no, 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 no. This is unforgivable. Why? Why? Ten years marriage. Kids between one another. She's asking for advice. Her husband, whatever he did. So one of the sisters in a nice hijab, mashallah, she writes back to the sister. And I quote, the hell with him. Wow, man, just like that, the hell with him. Just like that, bro. We forgot all the good times. Just like that, the hell with him. What is this, man? So then there's always a scholar amongst us who comes to me, he gets me, brother, and I get phone calls all the time. Brother, all I want is my haq. Eidi al-Quran, I'm not asking for anything more than my haq, brother. Is there anything wrong with what I'm asking, cuz? I'm not asking for an inch more and not an inch less. So in his mind, shaitan is making him think, brother, that's your right, cuz. Doesn't Allah say, and look, I love how we quote ayat of Quran that suit my nafs. Doesn't Allah say in the Quran, brother, tooth for a tooth and an eye for an eye? Yeah. All I want is my heart. When they got married, the sheikh came and her family and you. And let's start with the Fatiha. Why? Because it's the opening of the Quran and so that the hearts can flourish and we can come together. But then when there's dramas, it's my lawyer versus your lawyer. When the kids are with me on the weekend, your mom's a dog, your mom's a hayawani, your mom's a this, your mom's a that. Then when the kids are with the mama, then when the kids are with the mom, you know, throughout the week, your father's a one, two, three, she wipes the floor and the toilets with him day and night. Wow, man, just like that, just like that. The brother, forgive, let it go. No way, brother. My heart, I want my heart. I tell you, fine. So the brother says to me, is there anything wrong? I tell him, brother, wallahi, there's nothing wrong with you asking for your heart. There's nothing wrong with you telling me eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I'm telling you this now, that if you open this door with people, Allah's going to open this door with you on the day of resurrection. And if Allah opens the door of tooth for a tooth and an eye for an eye, you're in a world to hurt. Every single one of us has troubles in his life. 
Every single one of us has made mistakes. Every single one of us is a sinner. And every single one of us is hopeful and wishful that when I stand before Allah on the day of resurrection, Allah is going to turn a blind eye and forgive all my sins. Yet you can't even forgive the person you grew up with for years of your life for one issue. You can't even forgive. And people tell me, brother, but it's my heart, it's my right. Let me tell you bluntly, brother, there is no heart in this world. The only heart you will ever have is when you stand before Allah in front of the real judge in the real court. Then and only then will you ever really get your heart. This world will never, ever, ever do you justice. Where are we? Really, my brothers, wallahi, where are we, man? Forgive me, you know, if I'm a bit too, but wallahi, my heart hurts me, hurts me. When I see two people who, before the drama, they're the most religious and God-fearing and Allahu Akbar, and well, oh, brother, we're like this, and eat al Quran, and well, I forgive you, and I love you for the sake of Allah, but as soon as you step on my toes, what was once a nice beard is a piece of Velcro, throws it right out the door, Come here, you little this and that, and let me. Well, man, what happened, cuz? What happened? Yeah, but he disrespected me. Let it go, man. Let it go. Not for, for Allah's sake. Let it go, cuz. Let it go. No, we want to it. There's those that show mercy and compassion towards one another. The one in the heavens will show mercy and compassion towards them.